morning, guys. AJ with Colorado Fisher. Today's episode, we're going to throw crankbaits and hopefully get on more stripers, smallmouth bass, whatever wants to bite. Crankbaits is something new to me, so I'm going to learn together. We're going to learn together and hopefully catch a whole bunch of fish. Without further ado, I want to stop talking and enjoy fishing this beautiful lake with Tyler and Ben. Let's get at it. guys i've got a striking 5xd crankbait it goes down about 10 or 12 feet i've got braid 12 pound suffix going straight to it with a seven foot medium heavy denali myriad rod with it i have paired up a Daiwa revros lt 3000 reel that's really it crankbait fishing is easier than i thought you just cast and start reeling in and it does its thing, it cranks about 10, 12 feet deep. So if there are stripers or bass, we're gonna get them across the water column. It's really that simple. Smoked! Oh my god, smoked. Smoked on a, uh, you know what I got it on? My first on the, well. Yeah, yes. Oh man, he almost took it out of my hand. My hand almost broke my wrist. Oh guys, we got hosed. It's either that or a big large mouth. Oh wow, that's fighting harder than anything this weekend. Guys, I'm not exaggerating. Oh. I don't know, maybe snag the carpet. Oh, guy, please don't break off. Oh my God. You better be huge. Damn, it's not even the best one of the weekend. Fighting like hell. Yes. All right. Right on the crank, guys. Hammered it. Woo! I've got two nice stripers today so far. Let's let it go. When it rains sometimes, the waterfalls just hit, come right over the ledge. When you're fishing in a place like that, just water drops. Just doesn't get any better. Mars on Earth with water. Something ran under the nose. Not fighting is hard, but I'll take it. He's unhealthy. Oh, and he's got that dark skin too. But I'll take it. I'll take it, y'all. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some pliers. What a beauty. About 19, maybe 20, skinny 20. The steady, quicker reels. Yeah, we'll get them better. 
Oh. All right, as I'm explaining, stay on. No, no, is it off? Another smaller one, but that's okay. That is a okay. Yes, sir. And I've been marking them in the back of the boat. That's why I keep casting over here. Yes, sir. So much fun. <clears throat> Smaller, but that's all good. Smoked. Smoked. Stick on. Stick, stick. Oh, yeah. That's a healthy one. At least it's fighting healthy. Stick on. Woo! Huh? I am so happy that it's on the good old crank. I love this rod. This Denali rod is solid. Solid. <sighs> what a beaut. Fought very well. Oh, again, just heavenly water. I love cranks. Thanks, Ben Linnell. Back we go. Such a beautiful little design in the rock just keeps getting better and better the further we go the better it's getting this is awesome a lot of these fingers guys have a long mile mile and a half thing in the back and a lot of these fish will ride up in those to trap yeah so much structure for everything to hunt hide <coughs> prey predator On what? Strike. Yes. Strike. Yeah, Ben has got one. Oh, so I should. No, mine is already going down there. Oh, yeah, Ben is on a crank, guys, and he had two more follow him. Good work, brother. Oh, just. Oh, I just had a hit. Come on. Come on, hit it. Oh, he didn't hit it. We almost doubled. Let's see that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's true. That is very true. That was. I was thinking. That was where I was thinking to go. The major iceberg. Yeah, I'm an iceberg. Too big. It's a little bit farther from. Oh, right below the boat. This crank, dude, has been crack. Oh, oh, smoked at the boat, smoked at the boat. Smoked at the boat. Small one, but smoked it at the boat. Oh, man. Yep, we kept 300 of the fish we caught. There it is. Well, guys, that was awesome. Oh, let's catch two or three more stripers and on this cranky. And we got a six hour drive back. So, a couple of more fish, and I think we're going to call it a day. Let's go. Oh, that's why people use them. That's right. People. 
Uh, this one does. That's a large mouth, I think. My first? Nope, it's a smallie. It's a large mouth. But a bass, and not that one. Look. Yep. That's fish. Oh no, that's the third time I've seen in the same area. Land it. Let's go, baby. I think it got off, didn't it? Pretty good size. No, no, it's. No, it's not good size. It's a striper. There's a small mouth with it. You see that? You mm -hmm. just tried to take the crank out of its mouth. Yep. <laughs> well, there's a buck. That they're starting to feed back in here. Good work. Jute. What was that? Got him. All right, that's our last one, guys. I don't know what it is, but he's fighting pretty good. Striper, that's our last one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's all I wanted. It's all I ever wanted. It's all I ever needed. Tell me what to do now, because I want you. You back. Oh. All right, Ben. Pretty good. I think he's got twenty. I think he's got a twenty. Close. Ooh, it's got a wiper shape to it. This is a fat one. Oh yeah, something at the shore. Oh! You see that? That was a two pound smallie. Hey. Smaller, huh? On the front yep. Oh, at the boat. Stay on. Oh, he chased it all the way up to the surface, yo. All the way up to the surface. Oh, if you get caught by those. Mm -mm -mm. Wouldn't feel pretty. Yep. Well, already, guys, it's time to call it a night. Beautiful place. What a great day. We absolutely killed it on crankbaits today. We fished trees, rocks, humps, sandbars, anything really that we could mark fish on, which was most of that structure. There's nothing better than throwing a bigger crankbait at various depths. We had some at six to eight, some 10 to 12, and we absolutely hammered stripers. Second episode, I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to be going after probably one more open water trip before we hit ice fishing, but I hope you enjoy this as much as we did. Until next time, take it easy.